If you came to this video, you probably want to learn how to find products, how to do a product research and get profitable products to sell on Amazon FBA. Now, I see this struggle with many people that I have consulting calls with. This is an area that everyone struggles with, including myself. And if an Amazon seller tells you that they, they are not really struggling with this, um, it's really a lie. Uh, but you can simplify the process. And again, the more products that you have, the easier or the, the chance for a successful sourcing of a product is higher. And what I see people do is they do a product research, they find one or two products, and then they hope that everything will match. And then they talk with suppliers, and while they talk with suppliers, many things are not really right, like the quote, the pricing, and many, many things like that. And then when they get a decision, they maybe are not getting decision that are good for them. They do it from a pressure point of view. And I want to really uh, put this aside. I want that uh, people in their first product or even second or third product will make decisions based on data, based on them knowing that they did everything that they can do to make sure that it's going to be a successful product. So in this video, I my goal is really to simplify it and make it easier to find a lot of products so you can start uh, doing the initial check with suppliers and getting quotes so uh, and increase the chance of successful uh, sourcing. Now, before I getting into the video, a couple of things. First of all, subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you want to uh, watch and get updates about more videos like that one. Second thing, go to sourcing-monster.com and subscribe to the newsletter because I share their tips and updates that I don't share here. And the last thing, if you want to have a consulting call with me about Amazon, about business management or about anything, uh, just have, uh, you, we will put a link down below in the description so you can uh, have a consulting call with me. And let's start with the video and get to find new products. Okay, so uh, I, I, I will be very honest. I didn't do product research for a good couple of months, at least six, seven months. And um, it's really a good opportunity to show you how to do product research. I didn't have any preparation or find any products prior to that. So that will show you a real scenario which is very similar to a new seller that come and you know do product research. Yes, of course, I do have a, a good experience with sourcing more than the, now 35 products. So this is something that, of course, I have uh, the advantage. But the idea, because I didn't do it for uh, so many months, is to really start from scratch like you start. So I do have a couple of guidelines that I put here. Very, like three notes, okay? What, number one, or three points or guidelines to, to follow in this product research. And I want to make it very simple. One. We want to check if the page, uh, if the first page results have heavy and strong competitors, and not necessarily a strong competitor is not necessarily listings that have a lot of reviews, but rather listings that you see that their images are very, uh, very good. Their offer and the bundling is good. Their pricing, like whatever they are doing, and in high percentage of them. They're, you, you spot that they are doing well and I will help you with that because this is a big indicator for me whether to get into a niche or stay away from it. Uh, main image opportunity, a very similar point to number one. We want to check if there is even option to stand out with the current uh, images that are showing in the first page. And number three, we want to make sure that there are enough sellers that are making a decent amount of money without ton of reviews okay so let's start and again i'm doing it fresh on a new um really i have no idea where i'm going to so um as you can see this is a cognito window i have nothing that is here related to my account and um let's start with uh, i'm just trying to look here around me what do i see okay i do see a, pla a ruler that i have here so let's do plastic ruler that's the one that I have here. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And let's see this one, 349, this is $6, very cheap items. Let's look at this one. This is like a triangle kind of a ruler, which I, I, I don't know what is the purpose of this or 
or or or technical or I, I don't know what is that even uh, it's looked like a professional one but I don't care about this item I want to see what other items that are selling to see if there is something that is a little more expensive that I can uh, get into so let's see this is hard drive tray hmm hard drive tray caddy with two and a half inches HDD adapter SSD so this is uh, something that you put in your computer tower I assume hmm or this is for dedicated servers or racks hmm they use four points only instead of five. Oh, okay. To be honest, it's a little confusing. I don't know enough about this, but they only have three products. So let's see their other product. Screwdriver tool set. What is this for? For Xbox, okay. Tool set for Xbox. Six dollars only, but let's see. For me, when I say main image opportunity, here, it's definitely not here. And why there is no opportunity? As you can see, those items that have so many ingredients and, and parts, usually you can't really stand out because the, the sellers there will lay out their main image with all the ingredients, with all the parts that they, they have in the packaging. And usually when they do that in that way, it just stand out you see this one it stand out like what can I do to stand out better than those you know it's very hard so definitely no main, main image opportunity here um, let's look further in this one hard drive tray caddy hmm let's run helium 10 Very slow, Helium 10. And it's showing NA, like not the way, not, not available, I'm sorry. Work done, four pack, three and a half inches hard drive caddy. Hard drive caddy. Competitor with Dell uh, servers. Let's check this seller. MC Duer store. So they mainly selling those things. Are building a brand around it. Let's check the numbers here. For some reason, it doesn't show it here. Let's go here. Let me pause the video for a moment and check what's going on. Okay, I'm sorry, but I had some technical issue with uh, the plugin and also uh, with my computer. So it's a new day, starting fresh. And let's start from uh, where we stopped last time. So this is the Amazon homepage. And I don't know, let's just go to arts and uh, crafts, which is a super uh, competitive category, especially these paintings and all this stuff. Uh, but let's check what's going on with some sellers here and trying to find some other opportunities and products that they are selling that we could do better job at. So this seller called Fun Boo. Fans Bu, Chinese seller from Hong Kong. Um, they're doing pretty good job in what they do. And let's try to run the plugin here and see what's going on. So they have uh, a very nice item that sell 150k a month, which is very nice. Um, it's the art and craft supplies for kids. So this is something that there is no main image opportunity already. Like I told you, those items that have so many ingredients in, in them are very hard to... Yeah, like all, all, all their items are very similar to that. Let's choose something else. I don't know. Let's look around and see what... Uh, I have a grinder. So let's see here. Grinder. Uh, what is this? Manual herb garner. It's electric, automatic. Okay. Uh, hmm. I check this item.
Chinese seller. Okay, let's check what other items they are selling here. Okay, so from what I see, it's only that item that they makes them money. But let's check some other product. This is herb. What is this? Hanging kitchen trash can. Let's see what is that. That's very cool, actually. Especially when you like, uh, yeah, this is this is a really cool invention. I mean, for that kind of innovative product, you want to make sure that they are not patented. But that's something that we will cover later. So, hanging kitchen trash can. Let's see. Okay, so we see that all of them kind of having this thing. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, with the main image opportunity, I think that it's hard. But let's go back to our file. file. And again, we want to check if the first page results have heavy and strong competitors. Not necessarily by the amount of the reviews. So, let's check that. I don't think that there are serious sellers here, but let's check it. Let's uh, let it load. Okay, let's delete all the sponsored results. I don't want them. I want to see what sells organically and sells good. Okay, so we have this one with only 100 reviews and they're making 53. This is looks... Okay, so definitely we should... I mean, if we go after that item... You know what, let's check it together. So Google Patents. Now again, this is very basic check. Uh, you want to do it with someone uh, professional. I don't do it with someone that is professional searching for patents. I'm sorry, what, what I'm, I'm doing. So hanging small trash can. We wanna see if there is a patent for that. Removable catch, basin, filter. No, that's filter. Let's remove the word small. So, receptacle with motion dumpers for lid. No, trash can with clutch mechanism. Trash can with customiz customizable features. Trash can with power operate lid. Okay, so in that, I don't see anything that is close to it. So, what you want to make sure is that you check it carefully with uh, the suppliers. When you get quotes, you ask them, is that patented? Uh, and if you want to really be safe, you either change something with it, with the design, and then you can even have your own patent, or you uh, contact professional lawyer to do a patent search for you. Um, so let's do patent search service. Let's just go online and see. Obtain a patent search. So let's see, we have this for $200. Now it's not cheap, but if everything makes sense, if everything is connecting, then you might want to do it if you don't feel comfortable. So um, this product looks like a, like a jackpot. Like to be honest, look, all of the sellers, so I don't see any serious sellers here. They all have reviews, not all, but you have definitely this one with 100 reviews making 54,000. Yes, you have this with 2300, which is not for the drawer, I think. This is just, oh, that's something. Oh, actually, that's nice. It's for this one as well. So, yeah, this one have a lot of reviews. So, um, review count. And then you have this one with 57 that make 6000. And this one 40 with reviews and uh, 5,000 so um, it's definitely possible to get into this niche and main image opportunity um, it's not really the best but I think that uh, you can it's gonna be hard I, I, I'm not 100% sure if this there, there is a main image opportunity here and I mean I'm like 50-50 because all the pictures here because it's an item that in order to uh, display how it works it needs to be hanging on uh, the door then it's allowed to put not just the product in white background like they do they actually have a lifestyle photo as the main image because it demonstrates how the product is being used and then it's fine so here I would say 
that it's like there is no main image opportunity. Uh, so maybe, you know, if you want to be 100% sure, maybe move on to the next product. But if you're already experienced, like I am, it's a good item to go after maybe, you know. It's at this point, it's what you feel that you can bring to the market and also what you, f uh, you feel after contacting suppliers and getting quotes and connecting all the dots, you know. Enough sellers that are making money. But it's really nice. And numbers and a good start for the video. Let's move on to the next product. Let's go to this seller, okay? And see what other things they are selling. So this is Tia Furo with a new seller, Chinese seller. When I say new seller, I see the rating. There are 43 ratings. Here I see where they're located from. And let's see. So they have this uh, as their main two items, looks like. And uh, let's check what other items making money for them. So this is, this is, then we have this one. So this one, it's a bamboo, a wood soap dish holder. Hmm, okay. That's cool. But very cheap item, five, eight, ten. 11 I'm not saying don't go about this item because I know people really like making ton of money from one single item of like six dollars but it's very hard and unique so when I see that I'm staying away from like low cheap items because uh, it will require really a lot of uh, units to be sold before and uh, or to even make money so let's move on Okay, what is that? Uh, desk organizer. Okay, that's cool. I like this one with the pens. Hmm. Acrylic. So acrylic desk organizer. Okay, this is type of products that when you actually write the word. You can have many, many different styles and I try to avoid these kind of products. Why? Because it's a matter of taste. You don't have like, um, I don't know, like a ruler. There is one ruler. Yeah, you might have colors and all of that, but at, at the essence of it, like it's only a ruler or with uh, like tripod, like, you know, tripod for microphone, for example. You know, you just need a, a tripod. Here it's an element and a product that is also involved style. Certain people, uh, let's say men, would want just something simple. Uh, and at the other end, maybe for women and ladies, the design is something that is more important. So when there is an item that really, uh, uh, you know, w might be different for different avatar uh, and involve style, I try to avoid it, really. Um, and, you know, the trash, uh, the, the, the trash can holder that it stays like uh, on the, the door, the kitchen doors. This one is just, uh, you know, it's a garbage. That's it. Like, yeah, you can have styles, but the essence of it or the, the feature that people are buying it for, it's to be able to hang it on their uh, kitchen doors. And here, the main feature yeah, is to hold some things, but you might have someone that want one, uh, you know, a uh, drawer. Or some people want a uh, space for the pencil, like three separate spaces or four, you know. It's very hard to know what is the requirement and uh, of, of whoever is buying it. So I'll, I'll, I'll stay away from that one. Let's move to the next seller. So I like again to sort it by revenue. And let's check this one. And their photos, as you can see, are not really great. They are okay, but nothing special. So, Chinese seller, not really new one. Okay, he might be provide us some good uh, product ideas. And you know, when you do product research, I like to just copy this if I'm done for the day and just save it somewhere so I can continue from the same place that I... Um, you know, started. So for this one, because I have to post the video soon and continue tomorrow, uh, you have to 
I, I mean, I'm saving it here. Uh, but let's run the numbers here again. And let's see what's going on. I like to sort it again by revenue, high to low. And let's check what is this one. Dish, drying, mat for kitchen. So immediately when I see that and I see all these variations, this is a serious seller. So they know already what they are doing if they have all these variations and all these reviews. Um, and I bet that, you know, uh, also the competitors on the main, the first page for the results, they already know what they are doing by the reviews, um, by the pictures, with the variations. It's not an item I want to go after, especially not at the beginning. So this one, mini desktop basket, what is that? Mini desktop waste basket with lid. Oh, okay. It's like a little trash can that is... Okay. Okay. Let's check the results here. Too small to be honest only one seller make 13 and the next one is like five too small of an niche let's move on silicone soap dish what is that oh they have also so many variations oh okay that's smart so the water and the soap is the uh, nice I like it Okay, what is this one? Dish scrub brushes. Okay, we can give this with... Uh, they gave me an idea to bundle it with for like... Uh, hangers, you know, wall hangers. Uh, but let's check. Dish scrub brushes. Okay, so dish, dishwash scrubbers. So, okay, so you have a couple of options. Uh, you have the long ones, you have the short ones. Um, I think, I mean, we have to analyze the market and see what is the best. But let's check to see if there is even a demand or let's check the other metrics. Main image opportunity, definitely, I think we can come up with better picture that will stand out for sure uh that you know uh it's it's uh, th it's there the many more opportunity now i want to see if there are like how many serious buyers there are, there are out there also it's crazy brand for kitchen uh but let's uh sort it by revenue okay so first of all we see immediately it's a huge niche um and you can see also the number of the reviews here so only this one with 512 reviews making $20,000. I don't see any, like we have this one with 73 reviews, but look what they came up with, with really crazy bundle and they make 10,000 or something. Um, and I think that it's just too general, but they put also soap, brush, clean, I like it, but we want to see some other ideas. 28,000, this is too competitive. And why too competitive? You don't really see anyone with low amount of reviews making money. And even this one that makes 73 reviews uh, make, uh, where is it? 73 reviews make 10,000. He came with a crazy bundle and look at the reviews that he have 73 reviews uh with four stars so people don't even like it so is this product doomed to fail like soon you know and they have variation so this is too competitive for sure um anyway let me save this seller as well sorry this one oh it's the same one okay so that's um i'll pause the video and continue later with the product research show you how it works 
Okay, so let's continue from where I left last time. And again, those examples just to find the product. There are a couple of more steps into uh, what we do after we find the product and after we plug the numbers here. So um, this is going to be part one. I will have part two where you fill all the details and then we'll have part three where I show uh, how to like check prices and negotiate with Alibaba suppliers. So let's try to find more opportunities here with this seller. Okay, so revenue here is the trash bag, to, I'm sorry, trash can. Then we have the mini desktop waste bag. Then we have this silicone soap dish, it's too cheap though. Then we have another variation of this. We have also the, the, the bamboo dish scrub brushes. What is that? This is magnetic hanging lint bin for laundry room. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. Lint bin. Okay, that's smart. So you know when you have like a drying machine, you have all this lint. Uh, so this one. And I think they give it as a bonus this one. And the cool thing that it's magnetic, so you don't have to hang it. This is a really cool item. So magnetic hanging linked bin. So I do sell lint removers myself. It's funny, uh, but this could be a really, uh, it's a good and nice product. So they have two magnetic bin and lint bin. You see, they're very unique. They're standing out with their picture. Oh, they have this one also. This is pretty new one. Let's check the size of this market. It looks to me. Let's see this item. Let me remove the sponsored and not related items. Okay, so it looks like a decent size for the market. And it looks like 58 reviews sell for 4,000. It's not enough for me. It's not enough for me. But this uh, place could give us clue for other products. Let's check this seller from California. Finally, not the Chinese seller. They only sell this. So um, I'll move on. Let's check this one, seven days. Okay, seven days on magnetic. So they look, they, they, they're doing really a really good job because first of all, they put the variations here in the main picture. Then they also uh, put it and they also put the picture of the lint inside. So they are pretty uh, knowledgeable and you see DNA and associates, let's see. So it's a seller from the US. Okay, they are in the home and kitchen category probably. Magnet fishing kit. Let's check. They are doing really good job here. Look, all their items like above 10,000. So these guys like uh, 40, 50, 60, 67, plus... Uh, 20, 80, 100, 100, I was doing like 200k, even more. Okay, it's not really relevant, but just uh, something that I look at. So all of their listing are with solid reviews, but let's try to see if we can uh, uh, sneak in and, and, and do one of those categories. So bathroom plant decoration. This is an item that usually, or not really usually, like I personally avoid because it involves design, it involves style, it involves people taste. So I'll move away from that, all these plants, even though it is best selling items. Let's check this one. So this one, it's a wedding, wedding countdown calendar block. Mr. and Mrs. Luggage tags his and hers ring dish holder ring dish holder what is that 
Oh, this is the ring, the shoulder probably, which I don't know what is that, and I was a jeweler. So, hmm. Oh, okay, they have the the, the, the tags, the ta luggage tags. Reversible. The, the blocks. Oh, okay, the countdown for anniversary. And months since. It's pretty cool item. One set, three ways to count down. One days until Mr. and Mr. Days until anniversary, month since. Okay. They created like a cute kit as a gift and 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 something like that. So, wedding calendar countdown. Or wedding countdown calendar block so it looks like a pretty popular item and what they did they just created like uh, they took the base item and they bundled it with the tags and this ring dish holder I don't know I assume that it's something that you take off your ring at night and you put it there I don't know what's the purpose of this uh, but let's check the numbers here Let's wait for the numbers. Okay, so numbers are not that great from what I see. Oh, we have this one. I did click on load more results, which make it slower. So let's wait for it to fully load. Might take another second or two. I wish the only complain that I have to those programs helium 10 and jungle scott and whatever that are super slow I would really want this to be bam click tang tang bam bam and it's very slow like slowing you down um, okay first of all let's remove on unrelated items stack all of those are not really related except here so we see it's 12 11 all of these but the same kind of sellers or item so i don't see here potential to be honest trying to find another seller that sell this and maybe potentially going and check what other items they're selling so this is paul's brands and what is this Wood hideout, extra large, house, tunnel, ramp, bridge, tube for pigs. What is that? How it's being used? Oh, for little... Okay, it's a pet toy. And for small animals. It's like a little hide. That's cool. Let's check it out. Tortoise hide. Well, for tortoises, for for turtles, it's a style-based item too. But we see that this is a popular choice. This thing with uh, the wood thing, it's the best seller. Actually, I don't know if it's the best seller. Let's check the market size here and uh, decide or, or see what's going on. In the meantime, let's open some other options here and uh where's oh this is paul's brand and this is their best selling item with 2000 reviews like cage cleaner for guiana pigs cats okay it's for a uh, litter cat or like cat litter or like stuff like that um it's a good item i like this item i'm using it myself uh, for my cat firm brush okay firm brush bristles to easily clean up any mess okay flexible dustpan lid oh it's flexible dustpan okay that's very cool because sometimes they're not flexible great for cleaning in and around your pet's cages or little box litter box dustpan size compact size um let's check or little litter box dustbin so we have these options 13,000 reviews 
you know what this is a good sign this guy with uh, like uh, 248 results in the first uh, top uh, top three results let's check here the authorities height sorted by revenue okay so penplex reptology shale step ledge for aquarium and I don't think it's the relevant product this one not reptile hide box hmm Tortoise house um, reptile bark bands reptile hide box I think it's reptile hide box that's the item we should go after and search let's run it let's check here what's going on with the leader oh my god this is a crazy item very competitive let's delete all the okay so let's check what's going on so this is just a little box self-cleaning you know what let's sort it by uh, numbers here okay so what we see is oxo good grips dustpan he's the number one result with 13,000 reviews then I we saw this one the 248 results but it makes only $1,300 which is nothing I want to scroll down here and see what else is uh, like it's not really there there is no enough like uh, results this is a mix-up item I will move on let's check here the reptile hide box so we have this one again coming okay 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 let's check it like that so we have the first result hide box hide box hide box uh, to be honest it's an item that i think easily like that the, there is no enough competition here from what i see this one with 77 re oh but they are not making money 32 reviews let's check here the review count i'm sorry revenue and then scroll down and try to find some low uh, count reviews I don't see anyone with low reviews making money so I'll move on anyway we were able to find a couple of good products in this uh, session uh, that's the mindset that you should come with and when you come up with this mindset of checking just those three things we want to check the first page results have heavy and strong competitors not necessarily by the amount of the reviews, also by the pictures we covered in part one. We want to make sure that the main image opportunity is there. Means that if we come to the market, we can stand out and you should analyze the first page results and based on that decide if you have the main image opportunity. Then we want to make sure that there are enough sellers that are making a decent amount of money without all of reviews. So that's three points that I checked during the product research and it made the entire process much more simple. You don't have to validate so many criteria and so many things in order to move on on stage one. Now, stage one is not the only stage, of course. There are a couple of other steps to the process. Step number two, check like profitability, check margins, check the prices on Alibaba. And of course, the stage number three, contacting suppliers and getting quotes. In video part number two that I will make, I will explain about the next stage, checking margins, checking prices, and uh, seeing it, like the next step, like patent seasonality and all the other criteria that we check. Sometimes I see people confused between stage one and two, and that's where the clarity and the simplicity comes to. Because if you have to check all the criteria when you do the initial check, it will slow you down and actually confuse you. So that's why I my, my mission really is to make it as simple as possible because it's a topic that many people struggle with and it makes them overwhelmed and can't really find good products and makes them do mistakes, go sometimes for the wrong products and things like that. So I hope that I can make those uh struggles that people have uh much easier and uh, i'll see you in stage number two 
I mean in uh, video number two. Um, and thank you for watching. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel. If you didn't subscribe, like the video because it will help me make more videos like that. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next video.